Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where this episode I believe we are going to have uh, the tree planting festival. I don't know if someone's going to come and tell us about it or maybe this male will tell me about it. Yeah, so tomorrow, yeah. So Mayor Connor sent us a letter just to remind us, just in case we, we hadn't remembered. Now, one thing that I really want to do today, I had like an insect trap thing and I put it away, I think, in my building materials chest. Now, was it? Right, okay. So the reason I couldn't put this one down, apparently, I've been looking into insect traps because I think my best chance at finding a tiger beetle is to put insect traps everywhere around town. So we're going to do that today. But this one apparently is one for under the sea. So that's why. It's a crawler trap. And that's not what we need. What we need... And that makes sense because I think I got it for putting the last of the sea creatures away. That totally makes sense. We want a ground insect trap. And I can make a few of those if I get a bit more wood. So... I'm just going to head over here and chop down a tree or two. Uh, we want to clear this area. Remember, we were wanting to maybe start an orchard back here. So clearing this area would be a good idea. I'm going to use the wood that I get there to make a couple of crawler traps. Now then, before we do that, I'll grab this honey. <laughs> yes, the reload did sort the honey out. Um... I was getting really frustrated with that last episode. I was like, why won't it work? But apparently very common with, uh, with, and you only need to apparently go back to the menu screen for it. So we might have to just quickly go bink, bink, uh, in future if this does happen, if things get stuck in future. But apparently this happens with the beehives, also uh, with sometimes solar panels and some kinds of barrels. Anything that takes a long time, basically, can get stuck. So that's the deal there. Right, I'm gonna just put these away. Go see my animals and then we'll make these traps. 910 for a goat cheese wheel. Wow. That blows everything else out of the water. That is insane. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Um, right. The mill doesn't have anything in it at the moment, so I'm going to go into my... No, I'm not. I'm going to go and deal with the animals and do my insect traps. That's the most important thing today, right? Okay. Super duper important. I am wondering whether the trees are getting in the way of the grass spread. And whether I need to chop them down a bit more. Maybe in here. Make a bit more space for grass to grow. We don't really need trees in here. We just need grass. Um, I would also like to make another tree tap just to, make, to get resin going as well. Onto one of the other trees. I think that's a large quail egg again today. It's a large silver quail egg. I'm going to maybe keep that as my um, coop offering for the harvest festival, unless something better shows up in the meantime. So, oh, these guys are coming along, aren't they? Very much so. Um, so tomorrow. I think Saturday the, the the lab is shut. So I'm going to try and go in tomorrow to the lab. And uh, upgrade the, the trees for the orchard. So that's something I still need to do. I want large silver milk. Wonderful. So yeah, I'm going to start putting into the donations chest a bit of a... A bit of a thing for Harvest Festival. So I'm going to put the large quail egg in there for Harvest Festival. And I'm going to put this large milk. Large silver milk. And what I probably need to do is if I get a couple of things and I want to compare them. I'll take them to the cell box and see if I can work out how much they're all worth and things like that too. I, I don't know. 
if I could get myself like a, I occasionally get osmium um, products through as well. Although I'm expecting to have gold or maybe osmium hay by, by the autumn. So we'll see what we get out of that. Right. So let me, let me have a look. Um, hmm. I wanted to mill some things, didn't I? Let's mill a bit of bronze amaranth flour. And also put some flowers in. Okay. And then we need to make these insect traps because otherwise I won't have time to put them in around the town before. Right. And I need to remember to go and check them as well. That's going to be the problem. Right, so we've got four. I'm going to put them in various locations around the town and we'll see what we get. I don't know whether they're like one-shot things or whether you can, you know, be the gift that keeps on giving. So I'm going to put one down, I think, on the garden path. That seems to be like a good area for finding insects every so often. In fact, there's one there right now. Well, I thought there was. Oh, there it is. It's a red admiral. I think that's something I've already donated, but maybe Dad never had a copper one before or something like that. So, yeah, let's put one or two of them here. Okay, one there. Then maybe we'll put, like, one in... The forest, and uh, maybe one up at the vineyard. Let's go to the vineyard, I think. There's a few different insects that show up around there. So, probably like over this side, I think. Ooh. Maybe over where people don't walk so much. Maybe like. Here, I don't know. There's a butterfly flying around here and I don't know where it's gone. Yeah. An Assam silk moth. That is one that is needed uh for the for the uh altar, but it is also one that I have already. Okay, so I want to put one maybe in the town, like, um, kind of by the... Actually, probably up here. Kind of by the, like, sort of graveyard area. I'm not going to put one in the graveyard, that's kind of disrespectful. But maybe one, like, up here. Couple of butterflies around here. All ones that I've caught before in my life. However, I am trying to uh, get up on top of my catching. So I'm wanting the catching points at the moment. And it's not so easy to get catching points. So I've made, got maybe 100 points out of the 300 or so I needed uh, since I've been trying to do that. So... I quite often see little bugs and things around this sort of area. So and then let's see if we can maybe put one there. And then maybe one down on the beach as well. Either, either the beach or the woods. Actually, I think the woods. Let's go over to the woods. And then if I make another one, I can put it at the beach. Why am I not? 
Fine, I'll go this way then. Like, why am I not finding the fast travel points? Better. And I probably want to put one, like, in the woods over here somewhere. And then we'll see how it goes. Maybe, like, around here. I'm going to catch that butterfly first, though, if I can. Just in case it's one that I need. Why, why is it out of sight? Out of sight really irritates me. Saw me. We might be better off just going around here. Come on. Oh, so irritating. There are a lot of people saying online that they don't believe the sneak mechanic works. Um, and I am inclined to possibly agree. I don't think it's, e if it does, it's not easy to work out how it's doing its things. But anyway, what we were here for was actually to put these down. So let's put that down there. So I've got insect traps around the world that we're going to go and check tomorrow and see whether... Ooh. No! Stupid thing went behind a tree. Oh, I'm so irritated. I have no patience. Can't believe that. I've been looking for a firefly for ages and like I finally find one and sneak up on it and it goes behind a blinking tree. Ah! Oh, the frustration. The utter frustration. I'll catch you instead. I kind of want to, like, get rid of some of the weeds around this area because they are kind of stopping me from picking things up. Also, I don't want to disturb things from my trap too much. Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh, okay. Happy days! I am a happy G-Lab now. So just gotta hope that these ground insect traps uh, maybe catch me a tiger beetle, which is obviously why I'm doing this. Tiger beetles can be anywhere. Which is terrible for when you're trying to actually catch something specific. So we need the rove beetle and the atlas moth. The atlas moth... Uh, is a fall winter. The rove is also a fall winter. The firefly is a spring summer. So we've finished all that we can do at the moment for the night insects. So we're looking for the basically hang around the beach for the yucca moth and um, spring look checking my traps every day now for the rest of spring for the tiger beetles. And then I'm also going to be uh, looking for the gator gar if it rains. Okay, and then everything else that is needed for the rare catchers is uh, a other season thing. So we don't need to worry about anything like that. We've caught nearly all of the other fish that we can, that we can possibly get at this point. Except for the silver arowana, which um, I was looking, apparently you have to be in one of the mine shafts and it has to be earth, wind or water. 
So that's why we haven't got that so far. So I'm going to go and look for that and we might be able to finish the freshwater fish. Also, the um, gator gar can be found in the spring as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we can manage. Night insect wise, we can't get those guys, but we can get these guys. So the yucca moth and the tiger beetle. So I'm going to be hanging around the beach, seeing if I can get a lucky catch on the yucca moths. Because I think they're, they're the beach or the woodland or something like that. Anyway, let's head back. That was nice. And we'll go and do the, the tree festival tomorrow. Which will also be quite nice. I'm gaining a lot of money at the moment. And I don't really want to have this money. I want to be spending it on, on upgrades and things. But ugh, can't do it all, I guess. So I'm going to just continue now to do a little bit of... Well, harvest these peas and the sugar cane for a start. I'll check if the soybeans need a harvest, which they do. I'll go back and grab those sugar canes that I couldn't pick up. Yeah. Oh, really? Still? Okay, fine. Uh, I'll head over to this other produce chest I've got. And we're, we're just starting to tentatively move towards uh, all of these have been donated already every single thing that I picked up has already been donated cool except for the firefly which I've now just handed in so I'm going to get rid of all of these out of my inventory which is quite nice Eventually I can start breeding them. So if there's any that are particularly like lucrative, then it would probably behoove me to like hold on to them and multiply them up once I can get the insect farm thing, but it's all right. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm going to make 900 off one wheel of cheese. <laughs> it's insane. The money suddenly just like switches on, doesn't it? All right, can I put anything through? I'm gonna make some... I don't know whether tea or strawberries are better, but I feel like I wanna make some strawberry juice in the vats. So let's do that and we'll make tea later, I guess. Anything else I can kind of like pickle or anything like that? Can I do make some pickled peas or something? Take these silver peas and see if I can do anything with them. Yes, I can make pickled peas. We're going to make some pickled peas. I could make more money each day uh, by going diving or doing something along those lines. Uh, but at the moment, I'm trying to really focus down on getting... Actually, I'll put more strawberries in there. I'm trying to really focus down on getting anything I can for the catch altar before the end of the season. So that's kind of why we're a little bit behind on money comparatively. All these things that come from trees is so annoying. The sap and the seeds and things. Right, okay. So we're all good on that. Let's head to bed now I think and we'll do the tree ceremony tomorrow and I'll also I'll go around and check all of my traps and things as well um let's see if it's raining tomorrow I'll be really cross no it's sunny tomorrow so we're not going to have a rainy day it is not when we do get a rainy day I'm not going to even do anything else on my farm. I'm not even going to, like, look at my animals. <laughs> like, I'm just going to run and fish. Don't tell me you wouldn't do the same if you desperately needed something like that. There is a festival running today. Consider checking it out. I'm glad that it does things like that as well, so you don't miss the festivals as easily. There's a few things I can cook as well, which I'm going to try and do this episode too to get the goddess... Uh, some more goddess altar stuff done. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do today is to quickly go and say hi to my animals. 
Oh, you know what I haven't done in ages as well is check the greenhouse. I really need to do that. The snowdrops are nowhere near done. These guys are growing nicely now, but there's nothing to to harvest. So that's probably the nice thing about having trees in here. Just rows and rows and rows of trees would be that I don't have to worry too much about them. They're kind of set and forget a little bit and I just come in and, well, sapling trees, fruit trees, I guess. They're not even trees, are they? They're fruit, fruit saplings. I don't know. All I know is I need to let those guys out. I need to put more flowers into my honey box and things like that. But, like, I've got other things to do, so kind of... It's kind of annoying. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. I don't want to do all my daily chores. I want to just run around, like, seeing if I can do catch altars. But I try to keep up with it. It's a little bit like my daily life, isn't it? I'm like, I don't want to clean the ferret's cage, but you have to, otherwise they'll be really unhappy. So it is really pongy, though. Ferret cleaning day is not fun times. They have the pongiest pee in the entire world. They're so cute, but they are so pongy. I've got a large milk and a silver goat milk, so we'll make those into cheese as well. I'll grab the amaranth flour. Might be able to do some stuff with that. I don't know, once we get the oven, maybe. We'll use that as some kind of flour. Um, make some cheese out of this one. And make some cheese out of this one. Make mayonnaise out of this one. Make mayonnaise out of this one. Uh, I had another small chicken egg and a quail egg, so I do need to try and process those at some point. I sell my wool. Alright, so that's the animals all happy and sorted out, which is like my main priority of any sort of day, really. Um, also, harvest the sugar cane, because I always forget to do that. Okay, we're doing great. We're doing fine. Mm. Put the sugar cane away in the milling chest and I will try and sh uh, make some sugar out of some of that. So sugar, amaranth, flour. The barley can be made into probably some flour and uh, the rice can probably be made into some sort of rice flour. But also you can make the rice into vinegar and probably like various other things. Cocoa, I just haven't worked out how to make chocolate yet. It's got to be some something you can do with it. It's, it doesn't seem to be the mill, I don't think. But I'll keep collecting it and it's it's a slow it's a slow thing to collect up anyway. so but I mean, like it wouldn't be me if I didn't try and make chocolate, right? some pickled peas so I can see how much they sell for maybe and then let's go and check our insect traps and see if anything uh, went into them overnight that is not the cell chest this is the cell chest it doesn't have very much in it yet we'll work on that maybe oh do you know what I need to I do need to go to the festival and I think I don't think it runs very long either when does it run between I think for the sake of doing the festival, I will, I'll start it now. Um, that's a once a year thing. I won't get another opportunity to do that. I'll get other opportunities to check insect traps. Although I am slightly worried, slightly worried I'm not going to get a tiger beetle in time, but we'll see. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here. Especially all the new faces. Let's get going, folks.
I love how we have to go into the mine and then we have to go on the super special frog boat. And then we're allowed to go to the festival. Is everyone ready? Off we go. I like that they have two frog boats so everyone can fit. <laughs> that dude. I love him. Here we are again in Purwo Woods. And would you look at all those trees? Truly a sight to behold. As for today's main event, it's a good thing there are more of us here this year. We'll have a larger area to cover this time around. I know after seeing the results from last year's planting, you're as fired up as I am. So let's get to it and plant some trees. Okay. So tree planting is pretty straightforward. Um, so this is year two of tree planting. So it's uh, actually going to be a bit different this time, apparently. And in theory, we were supposed to be able to see the results of last year's tree planting by the time we get to do this one's. So that's quite nice. So. Two. Is there, is there like a shop going on today? I think there is. What's, what's in the shop then? Fertilizer, compost, candy tree seeds, and various seeds that I probably don't need anymore. That's fine. Randy here has an interesting proposition. It gets my retired investor's blood going again. Isn't that right, Randy? I need to know more. Think about it for a second, Walter. Funding a fully automated tree planter shouldn't be out of your reach. These are all the same dialogues as last year. I remember. The trip is getting tiring, but it's wonderful to see the beautiful view. Never get used to the boat ride. Gonna be sick. Yeah, identical. I'm going to grow tall like a tree. I don't think I spoke to Valentina last year. These two are hiding behind here, look. Woohoo, everything looks so close with this. I can even see a pebble at the bottom. Farmer, you're good looking, let me say, but you're blocking the epic view behind you. Look at that. Glad to see you here, Golden Moth. Such a good turnout today. Yeah, I remember this. Like, I've been here many times, not for tree planting, though. Exactly the same dialogue as last year. Disappointing. Mashila, did you know bugs and worms live in trees? Yeah. Mashila, are you planting trees today? I like this place better than the beach. This will be my workout for the week. No doctoring today for me and Yuri. We've got a planet to save. And he's got massive allergies. My outfit matches the theme. Green. I bought some cookies and Alice and I ate them. Yeah, we remember this from last year. Hope we have enough water. I'm still talking to everyone because I'm getting points, I think. All good vibes today is what I'm all about, except for Jim. He's not good vibes. Jim has reasons. Okay. What type of trees do you think would be best for planting here? Do you think oak trees are alright? Not yet. It's healthy to get outside town once in a while. A change of environment is good for the soul. Emily and I brought the same kind of tree seeds today. The soil here isn't fit for coffee beans. <laughs> Look at us creating a forest in our backyard. So proud of us. So proud of you. I was working to everyone here. You know, on the boat ride and I'm disappointed. I learned nothing new about anyone. No. I wonder if that's a bit of a meta about the fact that everyone is saying the same thing every year. Because they really are. I'm just going to flick through these dialogues because I really have read them all out already. And yeah, Jim really is not good vibes, is he? <laughs> Kira needs to relax. I don't want people getting nervous about monsters. Millie has more to say. We won't see progress right away, but hopefully in time we'll be able to see the difference we're making. Okay, I'll read the odd one. Make our carpentry as the same well as we can. That's why I'm always here for planting festivals, giving back. That makes sense. 
It's reassuring to see folks who deal with trees also making the effort to replant. It'll help wildlife thrive too. You have to be conscious of the whole ecosystem. And just the guys up here now. Planting trees is good for the environment. Can't wait to roll up my sleeves and get to work planting some trees. Those two are good eggs. Being on that boat brought back a lot of memories about Dad. The way the boat sways in the water, the wind. Ah, I like it. See, like when he said that the first year, I was like, did your, did your dad pass away or something? But no, his dad's totally alive. Like, just not here right now. His dad is Wataru and he's the local fisherman. So let's start tree planting. I think I might need to speak to Connor to start tree planting. Let's just start that up now. Or not. How do I start it? I'm clicking on the orb. Nothing happening. Um, Alright then. Start the main event. There we go. Right. So. New quest. Tree planting festival number two. Clear area. So can we see like the previous area? It would be nice if they actually showed us. I think that might be the previous area over there with all the pretty trees and the greenery and everything going. I don't know. Ah, nice. It lets me have the hook and the axe at the level I've upgraded them to. That is much nicer. I don't know what the power up on the log it, on the axe is actually. It doesn't look like there is much of one. Do I get to keep all the stuff? That would be nice if I got to keep all the building materials. I'm just gonna run around with the hook and then I'll run around with the axe, I think. Much faster than last year, but we've been given a much bigger area because it's assuming that our tools are going to be that much better this year. And probably by level, by the third year, they're expecting us to have osmium, I would expect. I would expect myself to have osmium tools of everything by year three. Maybe not the hoe. <laughs> But considering the amount of money we're making in year two, I can already upgrade something to Osmium if I want to. And like I say, I'm, I've very much changed my opinion from like, I'll, want, I'll definitely want the pickaxe and everything to be Osmium first. No, it's definitely, I'm wanting the, um, the catches, the, the catching things, because that's the things I'm struggling with the most. A little bit of trash up here and then we are finished I think nope missed a bit I missed a spot is that it now there's a stump over here is that my last stump yeah there we go now we have to prepare the soil this might take a while if there's a lot of it to do because uh, I did not upgrade this hoe. But that's okay. It might be that I was able to, if I had an upgraded hoe, I might be able to do this in, in one shot each, but I'm okay with that. I wonder if I'm getting farming EXP for like tilling the soil and stuff. quite a lot to do. Oh well, get on with it, Sheila. Because you get lots of good rewards for doing festivals. And once I've done this bit, I have to just go and plant some trees and then we're done and then I can go check all my insect traps. Provided... I don't know. I can check them provided I've got time left at the end of the night. It might, if it puts me in at like 9 o'clock at night, great. It's had all day for the insect traps to work. 
If it puts me in at like 12 o'clock at night or something, then obviously I have to run straight to bed. I'll see. Right, we're all done. Plant the 16 saplings. Lovely. One, two, three. The most annoying thing about saplings is you've got to be at the exact right distance to plant them. But they shouldn't take long. Seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All done. Planting festival is all done. And I think you can just about see how... Uh, look, we did the top first year. Now we're doing the second stage. The middle part. Oh, look at the koala. So cute. Now we're doing the middle stage. We did the top stage last year. And then next year we'll do the bottom stage. And we'll be able to see like the tiers of the island being done. I like that. I love that they gave you a different festival for each year. I think that's wonderful. Another area all planted. Let's head back up and enjoy the rest of the day at Perwo Woods. Great job, everyone. I'm really hoping for like a bit more of a peek at what we did before, but I don't know if it will give me much of a, a look. Oh yeah, you can see, look. That's what we did last year, down here. That's what we did this year. It's just starting to come in. And that's what we'll do next year. So we'll have the whole thing green and beautiful. Right, time to leave, I think. And then we'll see if I can do my insect traps. I've got some... Recipe for spider tempura on the back of this letter. It isn't my first choice for a meal, but it doesn't taste as bad as it sounds. Please enjoy the shredded jackfruit pie enclosed with this message. I only make it with freshly harvested jackfruit, so do keep that in mind. Have a nice day, Bree. Do you know how to make guacamole? If not, here's a simple recipe for you. Hope you like it, Macy. So, we've clearly increased our liking with people today quite a bit. Uh, we've got Alice on four. We've got Bree and Ben and Betty on three. Dinda on three. Connor on four. Charles, I need to give him that tea, don't I? He's, he, that's why he hates me still. <laughs> Some people just really, really haven't haven't taken to me so it's almost like when i have these things mark's on four pablo and rafael are on four as well nice scott is too but it's like when i'm getting these like 150 points with all all residents all of these guys should have had that i would think it's a little bit weird also like it looks to me like the giants can be befriended as well with a bit of with a bit of love and patience. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Okay. Oh no, what was the time? What's the time? What's the time? Do I have time to like look at any of my insect traps? I do. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Okay. Let's just uh Okay, I'll first I'll run to the garden path. See if we've got anything to pick up in that one. I don't really know how they work yet, so there is a little insect there. A stripy garden caterpillar. I don't think I've had one of those before. Looks like in this one we caught a praying mantis. So and it looks like it just stays there. Nice. Let's go and check our one up at the vineyard, I think. Then I'll fast travel over to... Well, then I'll move over there. There's one... Let me see. There's a caterpillar stuck in that one. A couple of moths around that I could try and see if I could grab. 
Oh, come on, don't get stuck on the blinking tree, really. It's a cricket. There's nothing I hate worse than butterflies that get stuck. A moth, a simple moth. I don't think I've ever had one of those actually before, possibly. <laughs> I don't think that's been donated to the museum, no. It hasn't, how weird. And that stripy garden caterpillar we have had before. Okay, so let's head down to... That's a cricket again. Any bugs I see on the ground, I'm just like, yeah, let's just try and grab them. Okay, gosh, I didn't get the one. Oh, it's another one of those caterpillars. Darn it. There's another cricket, like, running around. Lovely. I'll catch you just for the skill points. No, it's too late now. I need to get across to... <sighs> the woodlands one. Oh, this is stressful. This is stressful trying to do this on a day where I've had a festival. I don't really care if my stamina gets jacked, though. I just need to know what's in these traps. Where did I put the trap? Oh, that's a firefly. That's fine. It's okay. I already caught one. I'd be kicking myself otherwise. I put it around here somewhere. I know I did. I know I put one here. Oh, there's something in there. Okay, what what are you? A cricket. Okay, so I guess we just keep going until the end of the... We've got another seven days worth of stuff to catch in those insect traps and we'll just keep trying our best. Is that another centipede? I keep finding them now. Now I've caught one. Let's find a million of them apparently. Right, it's one in the morning so I really need to get back. I'm going to suffer for my um, stamina for that but never mind. So in the morning I'll go around and see if anything else has gotten caught in there. I don't know how often I can check them. But I'll just keep having a little run around and check. Um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. I don't think I checked it. I think it might be a sunny one. Ooh! I have a loom. I can start processing my wool. I can now make a crawler trap. And we got extra relationship points with Alice, Bree, Eva, Jack, Kira, Macy, Pablo, Suki, Walter. But that's all right. Every person I get a heart with is a person I don't have to worry about getting, like, giving presents to and things like that. When I finally do want to start doing socialising, which, like I say, is going to happen in a, a little bit later into the game, I think. Right, so it is now a Monday, which means I can finally take my silver kelp over to the lab. Now then, centipede hasn't been donated. The moth hasn't been donated. Centipede and moth. Let's go into donations. Centipede and moth. There we are. They're brand new. Nice. And these guys can all get sold. Also nice. All this stuff can get sold. I need to put some more flowers into my honey as well. And check on all my trees. Yeah, so the idea is that we're trying at the moment to get uh, the saplings up. I, I'm pretty sure it's silver kelp today that I need to bring over. That's what I was trying to get there. But before I go and do that, I think I want to go and see my animals. 
to make sure they're all okay. I also would like to take Charles's tea leaf today if I can. them over here, don't I, tea leaves? And then flower, three flowers for the honey. I like some golden daisies. Sadly, the snowdrops didn't um, give me a... Osmium snowdrop, but like I say, there they can be planted in the winter as well. And also, I can just quickly grab some seeds for them if I want to before the end of the spring. But I probably, honestly, that particular old offering set is a quite a difficult one anyway. So the other stuff that's in there, I doubt I'll have done before winter. So I think we'll be okay. It's going to involve buying all sorts of random animals and. All sorts of craziness. Okay, so oh, I haven't been to see my animals. Ah, and I really need to start clearing this area out because once I do get to silver saplings, I'm going to want to start really looking at planting trees. I don't know why I haven't already, actually, because I have pretty much proven that uh, they upgrade with the planted trees upgrade but I also want to like I say run around and check my insect traps and see if there's anything in there I'm just going to be really on top of that because it's definitely going to be a good way to try and catch a tiger beetle also the fact that I'm looking in those locations the tiger beetle might be there to catch at the same time as well you know But yeah, that's the only thing that will be probably be holding the catch altar back. Well, that and not getting a rainy day for the gator gar will be the two things holding back the catch altar. I can't do anything about the fact it's not a rainy day, but I can go and check my insect traps. So that's what I'll do. There's one kind of buy here. I tried to put them in locations that I thought would be a good place to catch insects. Nothing there. Okay. So it didn't catch overnight, which is a shame, but never mind. Let's go over to Woodlands. And then I can go to the uh, vineyard and the one that's around the corner from there. Let's see if I can see anything in there. There's a butterfly to catch here today. It's generally better not to try and go up behind butterflies, but that was an easy-ish one. That was a tiger beetle. Sad times. This is why we've got the traps out because they are notoriously hard to catch and they purposely don't let you have that like secondary catch for them. So you kind of do need um, to have the probably the insect bait thing on. Oh, where, where's. I can't find my own traps. It's very irritating. It's absolutely super duper irritating when I can't find my own traps. Here it is. It's got another one of those stupid things in. Okay. Sucks that that might have been one of my only chances to get it. Um, and it just ran away. However, if I do have to go into the spring of next year, I mean, they've, they've been around the place, you know. Maybe one of my traps will have it. Let's go check down the garden path. Probably the best place to go for that would be...
diving pier, I think. So I did the woods one, I did the garden, I did, I've done the garden path one, I've done the one over there. Uh, I haven't done the one up at the vineyard yet. I haven't checked on that one yet. It's another cricket in there. Okay, fine. I don't mind. It's cool. Okay, vineyard. So this is going to be my life until the tiger beetle, get, beetle gets caught. There's a lot of people online saying the only way they managed to catch one. And it can be anywhere, apparently. But the only way they managed to catch one was using the traps. So... They're just too difficult otherwise, apparently. That makes me feel a lot better about my performance at catching them as well, you know? Makes me feel like it wasn't... It's not just me being completely incompetent. It's like sometimes you do need to use the traps and stuff. And I guess that's the point in leveling, isn't it? But if I try and keep them empty as much as possible, there's a chance that there's more of a chance I'll manage to catch something good. I'll grab wasabi where I can as well, because that's quite useful. Right, anyway, um, back over to the lab, I think. Now I've checked all my insect traps. And let's go and upgrade. trying to think if then socket and pan would be the next thing to do. Upgrade produce quality. Please upgrade the silver saplings for me for 5,000 coins. I would be very grateful. But then 10,000 coins and 7, 6, 5, and 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. So seeds, seedlings, saplings, hay. That makes sense. It will take two days to upgrade. Okay, nice. Let's do it. It is done. See, so yeah, I'll try and go around and check these traps a couple of times a day. I don't know if I should maybe go and check the woodland one again because it didn't have anything in it last time I checked. Might have been a bit too early in the day, so I'll maybe just go and give that another quick look. Still nothing. Okay. That's fine, that's okay. I don't mind. Maybe this will work for me, maybe it won't, but I'll keep catching things out, out of them during the year and uh, maybe there'll be other cool things that I can find that I wouldn't have found otherwise. That I think is a leaf cutter. Because you see like those ones, they run away, but then they, and they're fine. Um, so I think the other thing that I want to do now is to make myself one of those um, scents and I'm going to use it if I see what I think might be a tiger beetle again. I'm just going to keep it on me almost permanently. I know that's a bit of a waste but let's see. Crawling critter scent. And there's ground insect scent. Can be can, can be attached to a trap. Okay, well I'll keep that on me, but I'll also, um, if that's gonna make my traps better, let's go and attach them to the traps.
should have maybe used it on that one, shouldn't I? So if I use that... The one thing I didn't realise is I was waiting for like a flying scent. Um, but actually... That's not what it does. It's distinguishing between ground insects on the ground not ones that crawl or ones that attach it to the trap. Nice job. Right, let's go and check the one in the vineyard and maybe attach some ground scent to that. I, I'm just going to like try and give them their best shot really. Give them their best chance of, of Catching things. Not to give me my best chance by the 50% thing. I think that's going to be key to actually catching things myself. Oh no! I just ran straight past one. Oh, that's irritating. Could have tried to get that one. It's the second time I've seen one around this area. So it's around, like, Mayor's house. I feel like I might want to put a trap near the Mayor's house. No, don't run away. Maybe by attaching the scents to the trap. There's another centipede there, look. I do centipedes all the time down here. Mayor Connor, you almost squished my centipede. Okay, so now let's go to the garden path one. So I've done woodlands, garden path. Oh! What to be going on here? Alice is looking out over the dock. Hey, fancy seeing you here this late. Well, I had insect traps to check, okay? Likewise, what are you up to out here all alone? Clearing my mind. Stay for a bit, will you? We can chat or something. It's not bad sitting here by myself, you know. It's hard for me to make small talk. I'd rather talk about things that actually interest me, and it's nice to just sit and think, I guess. I was just thinking about past lives when you arrived. Do you ever think about your past lives, Sheila? I know it's one of those unproven things, but humour me for a moment here. Who do you think you were in your past life? Um, a fish, I think. I'm a good swimmer. I've always felt a connection to the ocean. Is that why you're here? I don't know about you, but for me, it's fun to think about something outrageous sometimes. I don't know. Trying to make sense of the world in a way, I guess. That was adorable. Uh, I've forgotten what I'm doing, though. Another firefly around here. I'll try and catch it. Why not? There we go. I think sometimes they're easier to catch when I'm not putting myself under so much pressure that like, oh, this is the this is the thing I need. And I've wasted my chance, you know. There's a cricket there. didn't put one into the one by the uh by the vineyard 
So the vineyard is like, I forget, there's a the hot spring, there's the observatory. And then the vineyard's like here. No, because that's the carpenter. Oh, I hate this map, right? Oh, it tells me what the areas are here now. Woodlands, lake, beach, lookout, forest, lake, town. Nice. Woodlands. Oh, that technically counts as woodlands. That's interesting. I think I want to make another trap to put around Mayor Connor's house in the woodlands. I don't know if I've got enough silver for it though, which is sad. Sad times. I don't think any of this needs to be donated. I think I already put aside a centipede. Yeah, so everything else can be sold. I'm actually finding a lot of bugs now. <laughs> wow, that's a really good one. They're mostly quite common ones, to be honest. Okay. Oh, I didn't put the Red Admiral in because it was hiding from me, apparently. Um, okay, so I haven't even, like, processed my eggs or anything today. I've just been, like, on this massive insect hunt. And that's one thing that will be better if uh, if a lot of this is... The more, the more things I get done and I don't have to be like, Oh, I'm worried about getting this thing right now, this second. The more I'll spend time on my farm. But at the moment, I'm like, oh, I, I need to do this and I need to do that. 335 for gold strawberry juice each. 260 for that cheese wheel. 545 for the goat cheese. Oh, I wonder if you get a cheese wheel if it's large and just a, a wedge if it's small. That might be the difference. Because when I got large goat milk, that really made a difference. Huge difference. Okay, I'm going to head back to the forest and see if uh, putting the ground scent on it made any difference. What is that? Crawling around on the ground. That's a scarites beetle. No. Okay, we're going to have another look at it tomorrow. That's fine. I, I know I've spent a lot of time insect hunting at the moment. It's probably another Scarites, isn't it? But I'm hopeful for these in insect traps. If I keep checking them regularly for the next few days, maybe I'll find what I need. I'm not going to be too, like, super worried about the... Um, the moths, I'm trying to catch the yucca moths because they go into the summer, so they're okay. And then, like I say, any rainy day, we're going to be straight onto the fishing and getting a gator gar. Oh. Wrong way around. <laughs> Sorry. I still didn't give Charles's tea, but you know, that can that can definitely wait. Um, quest wise, we're still trying to get together um, the wool. That I've got the round stylish glasses. I need to get a royal grape blazer and wool, and then I've got enough for the human quest. So we might be able to do that actually. The tree planting festival too. I got myself a plum seedling from that. So if we're going plant that in, couldn't I? And the peas. So I've just got Charles's tea, the Arapaima fish one, the disguise for uh, Gong. I'm carrying on with the coral tree. That's fine. Um, 
I think I need to go to bed though. We've got one more day in us, I think. One more day. One more day. One more day. So I got 170 merit points for uh, replanting the second part of the Perwo forest and completing an errand today, apparently. I made six. Th I made what? I made 1,400 from catching all of those random things trying to... <laughs> okay, so insects can make you quite a lot of money if, if you want them to. Ranching, the cheese wheels and things went for quite a lot of money. The duck mayonnaise went for 430. The large mayonnaise went for 225. So farming wise, the pickled pea, pe, 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 pickle, pe, 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 pick up pea. The pickled peas go for 130 each. So I got 1300 just from them. The strawberry juices went for 335 each and I had four of them. And then, oh, so 1800 just from the strawberry juice. I can cope with that. And tis the morning. I'm thinking with all of this money that maybe it would be cool to A, go to pan and socket and finish the entire kitchen off. And B, buy the new animals. Oh, Alice sent me a smoothie. Thanks, Alice. That's dead nicer, yeah. Honey's still working, so that's fine. Now that all the animals out, um, but I'm not gonna like worry about them too much today. I'm just gonna let them out in the morning, and I'll come back to them later if I need to. I will harvest my crops as well, but then I'm gonna run and check the insect traps again, see how they've done overnight and if that woodland one still hasn't caught anything then I'm gonna maybe move it over to buy Mayor Connor's house because it's really not doing well over there is it it's not caught a lot of stuff at all it's caught one cricket or something it's caught a mantis though so I'm imagining that the, um, oh really, it's really annoying. How is it full? Oh, it's full of strawberries and stuff. Ah. Let's go right back to the farm and put my inventory away. I get too, I get overexcited, okay? I'm really hoping I can get this tiger beetle by trapping it. Let me see if I've got any more silver as well. That's the other thing I can do. So, may large mayonnaise gets sold. The maple syrup gets sold. The cheese wheel gets sold. Everything else gets put away. Most of this can go into this chest here. And the milling chest. Like I say, I'm going to be more on top of doing jobs like milling and things when I don't want... I want, when I'm not being so um, obsessive about the insect traps I want to keep them clear so there's a chance all the time that they can get the things I need there's always a chance I'm going to run up and it'll have a tiger beetle in it uh, if it doesn't then I guess I just upgrade the net and hope for the best next year so It looks like the the scent continued for a while, so that's nice. Okay, let's go down to the diving pier and check what's happened over at the garden lane. Wasabi there, there's another caterpillar. Okay, let's take that away. And then do a quick run up to the vineyard because I haven't really been up there. I haven't even attached a, a scent to it. 
Hey Bree. Being a farmer in this town is so much fun. A lot more fun than playing with wife in the big city. What have we got in here then? Oh my goodness. If I wanted those caterpillars, I would definitely have them by now. Ugh. Okay, well, time to go and check the one over by the lake and then check. There was one right there and he ran away. <sighs> this is why we have traps, because I suck. might be one didn't catch him though and that's the thing like people saying about things not Ooh. hey the trap worked finally my diligence has paid off in the capture of a tiger beetle to find the fast travel point now so get to the lake oh i'm so lost ah let me let me out <laughs> such a maze that place right so we did it those traps are great fantastic i'm getting all sorts of other stuff in them as well which is nice so from now on i'll just every time i go past them i'll grab the insects out if i if i see them sort of thing so day insect tiger beetle so just now I need the yucca moth, which I could uh, try and see if I can grab them down at the beach or we can just wait till summer, whatever, I don't mind. But then also night insect, we've got the uh, rove beetle and atlas moth, which we'll catch in the fall, hopefully. The rove beetle, apparently that's another one where people use traps for them. And I didn't know that, I had the traps last fall, I probably could have caught them by now, but... You know, hopefully these will help because there's one crawling insect there, but then there's two flying insects I need to get and I don't, I've not seen flying ones go into the traps. So that'll be a reason to upgrade my net. Big reason to upgrade my net. So I think um, I really want to, to do that to upgrade the net. And I also want to go and try and see if I can get that silver arrow primer. So how about we go back to the farm and start making gold. And I'll need hardwood for it as well. So how much hardwood do I have? Do I need to go and just do a little bit of a hardwood to gather? No, I've got 14, so I'll probably be okay. Uh, but I need gold kelp essence. So I've got three. I'm going to need five. So let's get another couple on the go. To be honest, at the moment, it's going to be a case of just constant making gold kelp essence because everything is now at silver level. So it makes absolutely the most sense for me to just constantly have that going. Um, I've got loads of insects to sell today. <laughs> Again, surprise, surprise. I've got a plum seedling to plant in as well, so let's go and put that into the greenhouse. I think plum is, yeah, it is, it's a seedling, not a sapling, so I should be able to just pop that in here. It might start getting a bit crowded, but <laughs> I just feel like these are so, these saplings are, are so expensive and then they just die. Don't they? So I feel like that's a bit of a bit of a shame, really. So I think if I could just put a few sprinklers down, and ha I could even plant things like in between. I could plant a few little bits and pieces in between the trees as well, if I wanted to be really efficient about it. But I'll probably just put sprinklers um, at sort of three locations here. Like one of them will be a little bit inefficient, but we'll just do that in sort of rows. And so I'll probably then put another, so what we'll probably do then is put another 
uh, tree like here. Then the sprinkler would go there. Then it would water the trees on this side as well. And then we've got one, two, three, four. Which sucks. So, like, they don't really fit down either side particularly well. But I could definitely get one, two in there. And quite possibly, um, I'll want to maybe start again with the layout once I get the sprinkler threes up and running, but we'll see how they go. But I really don't want to just not have sprinklers on these because I will forget about them and I'll never come and get them. So that's my that's my issue. I've got a double crop on one of those, so I've got three, which is nice. Um, the rambutans and things are not quite ready to go yet that they look like they're about to fruit so that's quite nice and then on the change of the season i'll see what other saplings i can get but i'll probably have enough money soon to be able to chop down my saplings and buy new ones and and you know all that it won't be an issue i don't think uh the amount that they cost to replace them but it's just I'd rather only do that a couple of times rather than every single season. That just gets annoying. I'm gonna do a little bit of clearing around here. Um, and I think I need to go to Sam's now and start buying the trees that I want to plant. Because I was a bit obsessed with uh, catching the catching the insects, wasn't I? So but I feel like if I could upgrade my net to gold, I might have more of a chance of catching the yucca thing, the the yucca moths. I can try. I can go down the beach and I can give it another try. I might just get lucky and have one that's coming towards me and it'll be perfect and lovely. But generally speaking, I tend to have bad luck or I frighten them or they're going away from me. And then I have very bad luck catching them. But it looks to me like there's not one here today anyway. That's okay. So if I come down the beach in the summer though, I'll probably run into a couple of them and I might be able to catch one. Especially if I upgrade the net and take that 50%. And I, I don't know whether the bug... This is another thing. If you don't catch them manually um, with the bug traps and stuff, does that mean you're getting... Oh, actually, I think I got... A... I might have got a crafting level because I got the a new kind of trap, didn't I? Let's see. Catching five. Okay. So let's get balanced body. Do I not get a skill point for level five? Spend one point to acquire skill. Apparently I got a point in ranching, but yeah, like when I upgraded, must need to get to level six then. Well, I'll keep catching stuff, I guess, and try my best. Uh, animal stay filled, lowers the time to befriend, increases the sale price, and chance to increase the size of animal products. Size first, I think. Oh, that's annoying. I thought I was going to get that 50% speed when I got to level 5, but no. No. The traps will all be full of... Uh... So I just need to keep catching as much stuff as I can so I can get that like upgrade, because I think that upgrade is going to really help. And up until now, I, don't, I think until you're a level 6, you can't get those bottom row ones anyway. Okay, so I did plant my plum tree, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And I'm going to make myself some dragon fruit juice, because that's always quite useful. And we've got more cocoa again that I've no idea what to do with. Hmm. Doesn't go in a keg. Doesn't go in a mason jar. It doesn't go in a mayonnaise machine. It doesn't go in a dehydrator. 
It doesn't go in a cheese press. It doesn't go in a mill. So we are yet to find any uh, machine that can process cocoa yet. So uh, we'll see. Eventually, I'm sure I will. I just need to be patient. Uh, where did I put these guys? In milling, isn't it? Milling, they go. So. Uh, I want to put my smoothie into my food chest. My mushroom into my scavenger balls chest. Run out of room in here now. There's something that shouldn't be in here. Not really. I think everything that's in here kind of needs to be in here. Uh, Alright, I'll sell it. It's fine. I want to put the flour into my fridge as well before the end of the day. Uh, that would be ideal. Okay. Um, like... Could I make some tea or something? Let's make some pickled chard. That's quite... That sells for a nice amount. Maybe some pickled carrot or something. How about we do some strawberry juice as well? Do some silver strawberry juice. That'd be great. And then I need to put that stone away. And then I need to think about what I want to do with my money. Do I want to go for kitchen appliances or do I want to go for animals? I'm thinking animals first. Reason being that animals take time to go up in skill whereas kitchen equipment doesn't have that like that limitation so i feel like that's a good thing i want to have a look at my like relationships again like i want to see where things are at like some people are like so great and some people are like so behind <laughs> so i think i might have to start with the presents pretty soon um i feel like i'm getting to the point where i'm gonna have things to give to people so we're going to have a little mini time in the kitchen. So I want to see, like, uh, if I can make some things with my seasoning set. Some onigiri. Sure. Nice. So we've got onigiri. Do we have the tomato soup recipe yet at all? Don't think so. We can't make sunny side up because we don't have a skillet yet. Well, guacamole. Ceramic bowls. Don't know what I can make in there. Slimy okra. I don't have okra yet. I think that's coming up though. So I'll be able to make that soon. <laughs> yum yum. Pad Thai, that sounds a lot nicer. Lemon, wheat, flour, shrimp. And a spider tempura, tempura, any spider, any oil. <laughs> Gourmet salt, yum. Fry it up, stick it in the stew. I seem to have a lot of things for the oven. I've got a few recipes for each thing though. The pot, oh, the pot will be tomato soup, won't it? Any vegetable, sake, any fish. I bet you then, if I put tomato into the pot, that would do tomato soup. So the pot and the skillet probably be important, but I want to get the animals first, like I said. And then we'll look at like more gold upgrades for the... Um... So for the tools, I could do with upgrading my, my silver axe to a gold axe, really. But I'm not finding that a huge impediment. I just blow up any logs that I can't get with the axe so far so that's fine the gold scythe is doing me fine 
down in the ocean, maybe it would be a little less bad on the stamina. Um, the gold fishing pole needs to be upgraded desperately to uh, the top tier one, Osmium. And the silver bug net really desperately, desperately needs to be upgraded to gold so that I can try and catch these uh, flying bugs that I'm missing for the altars. So it's only one of each. It's the Atlas Moth and the Yucca Moth. If I can get those two, then I don't need to worry quite as much. Okay, so I think this is going to be the end of the episode, isn't it? I, mean, I haven't even used like any of my stamina or anything, but if I... Could I go down to the sea? I can't even go to the golden bits either, can I? Oh, I can go to the gold one. Okay, let's go and harvest gold kelp for an hour. Because uh, we are at a point now where gold kelp is the thing that we're going to need. So it feels to me like that would be the ideal thing to get. I don't think we need silver kelp now for anything. So I don't I don't need to go back to those layers at all. Now at all. So we're gonna get gold kelp. And the thing is as well, the scavenger balls here are higher value, so unless I've been here like really recently and scavenged everything. I think the the deep the deep ocean is where I kind of need to be right now. Which is quite nice actually. I quite like uh, the fact that now I can just come back here, get a load of gold. Kelp essences, I can kind of tidy up the bits that I hadn't tidied up before. I can get some nice high value scavenger balls. And I can just kind of chill. I'll need to go back in just a second though. We did get a bit of gold kelp though, so that's nice. And we started doing a little bit of tidying up, which is also quite nice. I, kn I knew I only had a tiny bit of time, so. I also don't mind that too much either. But yeah, I've just realised, like, literally, I don't need any more bronze kelp and I don't need any more silver kelp. I might need a little bit more uh, bronze and silver bars, like some ore. But I'm also hoping that I've got everything that I need out of the coffers as well. Like, I don't know whether I'm going to need to get more coffers than I already have or whether we're kind of good. So that might be a reason to go into the caves, actually. You know, to like get the trash and to get coffers out of it. But I think that that, my friends, is going to be the end of the episode. So we got the tiger beetle. It was hard work to do, but we did it. We're waiting for a rainy day to see if we can get a gator gar. Today was a terrible day. Like, the catching still did great. These Crocopia caterpillars, they sell for 143 each. So as much as I'm like, oh, <laughs> another one of those guys, they actually are quite good for the bank account. <laughs> ranching, we had one large mayonnaise and a cheese wheel. It was a terrible day for ranching. And I put one mushroom in there. So we really didn't do very much. Um, next episode, I'm going to be looking at getting, like, I think it was pigs and peacocks we unlocked, was it? Or was it llamas and peacocks? Whatever it was, um, we'll get a, a peacock or peahen and we'll get a, it's probably a pea hen actually if they're going to be dropping eggs but a peacock maybe if it's feathers um so i'll see what animals see what new animals i can get and whether i have enough money for two or just one it might just be one if they're very expensive so that's what we're gonna do the tree planting festival was really cool really enjoyed it and uh yeah very very happy that we managed that i don't think it was supposed to be a sunny day Sorry, it was supposed to be a rainy day today. I'm going to very quickly check the weather before we leave and see what it's meant to be tomorrow. Sunny again. So we might just never get a rainy day for this for this fish before the end of the spring. And that just might be the deal. We haven't had many of them at all. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.